Hello and welcome to another top 10 here on my channel. <coughs> Tom Day to go to look at top 10 unnecessary sequels. This list will be a little bit different. It will not just be different kind of movies. It will be uh, will also be well kind of genres or different a bunch of movies today. They're in a topic or so, essentially. I will, some will I said. Just be one movie, so maybe it'll be multiple movies. So yeah, let's start. Number 10 are going to be Paul Blart, Mark Up 2. When I watched this movie, I directly thought, why did they essentially make a sequel about Mar Paul Blart, Mark Up? Because this one were just ill thought out, complete, and didn't feel great at all. So yeah, because of that, I just felt it was unnecessary. Number 9 are going to be Terminator 3. Terminator 3 were too similar to the second movie and felt like they just forced a continuation of this story, even though it ended kinda great in the second movie. Even though I liked the movie, it just felt unnecessary. Essentially, yeah. Number 8 Young Adult 2 part movies, essentially. What a be. I don't know if it's going to continue like that, but usually the last book in a young adult book series that have been adapted into movies are split into two movies. For example, Harry Potter, Twilight, Hunger Games, the Dragon series have all had their last book divided into two movies. It worked for Harry Potter. It didn't. It worked somewhat for Twilight, but not that great. Hunger Games it work it worked in my opinion in the Urgent I have no clue because it we will probably never get the second part because the first part bombed. So yeah. I just felt they are unnecessary and they should just focus on one movie altogether. Harry Potter it worked very well because it is really big books so I think more of the movies should have been split into two movies but anyway yeah number seven the hangover sequels the hangover sequels in my opinion doesn't stand out as being necessary especially the second part the second part is essentially a straight out copy of the first movie the only difference is the setting essentially and the third part just feels like why did you make it it isn't really a hangover it is just Number six are going to be the Blair Witch sequels. I later on I will talk about another horror genres, but the Blair Witch sequels I'm pointing out directly mainly because Blair Witch book two, the book of, Sh book of shadows, Blair Witch two is uh, wasn't really a sequel, it was just an anthology movie and didn't feel like a movie at all. And the other the real sequel, essentially Blair Witch, just what I have understand didn't do that well and just felt unnecessary in my opinion. Even though it made sense story wise, it just felt like it was too late, you know, in my opinion, for them to essentially continue the storyline. So yeah. And number five is essentially what I just talked about. Sequels may to movies multiple years after, essentially. If you are going to make a sequel to a movie that had been, well, 20 to 30 years after the original movie, you need to make it amazing. Otherwise, it is just stupid. One of the mo movies I'm going to point out is the Ghostbusters movie. Even though it isn't, if it isn't a sequel, it's a reboot, it just felt unnecessary, in my opinion, to trying to reinvent us a series that haven't been done in several years because the audience maybe isn't there anymore. Yes, it was popular before, but it isn't now probably because people have moved on to other series. And because of that, I think they are really unnecessary. I don't know, maybe can find out some Swedish movies for the starters, the Yota Canal series. He had a sick first movie that was really good. Then Multiple years later, they started to make sequels to that. Two sequels, actually. 
the first one was okay the last the third one was not that great but they have been done to many Swedish movies and it has done been done in many Hollywood movies I just think it is stupid in my opinion number four horror sequels I'm saying horror sequels mainly because they are really using a character that have died multiple times for the most part and should just stay dead in my opinion they can't make this character return over and over again for starters the Friday the 13th series for start first to start off and the Halloween series and etc etc they remind me of this series that I just continued without end and the first movie just usually starts off as it is a regular guy that goes out and murder people but then it is turned into, into a supernatural character and it just doesn't work in my opinion and because I, I think they are unnecessary they made money of course that is why they continued making them but I just feel that they should have kept them as one stayed out storyline yeah. number three the Disney animated sequels that usually walked out as straight to DVD sequels I don't know why they need this they need money maybe I don't say much it is just unnecessary number two I'm going to straight out say the Jaws sequels Jaws as I just said in the horror sequels part, they should have stayed as one movie. The all series or one special topic because it is just a shark. You should have just stay one movie, the other ones you they just they just unnecessary. And the final one of course are going to be what I talk about, sort of the mask. A sequel made multiple years of the original mask we should have had a sequel but they scrapped that but they made this one they should have made this one yeah that's all for today folks as i said if many of these topics maybe covered majority of the movies but some series and movies i want just want to say say out point out because they stand out for being unnecessary in my opinion that's all for today, folks. Hope to see you next time.